everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be building a house by the sea, as you can probably tell from the title. And I think I initially built this on the lot here in mid nowhere in Windenburg. Um, it's that really like tiny lot that's on like the island part of Windenburg. Uh, and I decided that it was a little bit too small and um, I wanted it to be by the sea. Um, which this is sorted by the sea, but it's not like right next to it like the other lots are um, Where like the beach is and there's like a dock. So I decided to move it um, So you'll see that like in a little bit, but um, This house is actually a house that I built um, Like a long time ago um, It was originally like I had played this game basically uh, that's like I think it was set in Sweden uh, which I know Windenburg isn't supposed to be based on Sweden I think it's supposed to be based on Germany but I was like really inspired by the aesthetic of that game and so a long time ago I got into The Sims and built this house which is like a picture that I had actually seen on Pinterest because um, it kind of reminded me of that game for some reason even though the house in that game doesn't look anything like this um, but yeah, I don't know. I was inspired by it and built it and then I really liked the layout of the house so I decided to rebuild it for a video. Um, and that's what we have here today. Uh, you might notice that, um, right now I have a override for the roof so it makes like the texture look, look a little bit different. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it in my game. But I know that maybe some people might notice that that is different. Uh, I'm just kind of playing around with stuff um, for like my personal game of what like I want the vibe to look like. But I also don't want to change it so drastically that uh, when I'm like uploading videos and stuff, people are like, oh, like this does not look the same. So I'm trying to find a good balance. Uh, I might like... If I like leaving something in that maybe like the texture or something is a little bit different um, but people aren't into it, then I'll just like take it out for when I'm like a recording or building and then put it back in for my own personal gameplay if I prefer it. But yeah, I'm just trying to find a balance between not too alpha but not too um, like cartoony. So yeah, um, as you can see, we have moved and I put this really nice red siding on the house at first, but uh, I don't actually keep that. Um, watching the footage back, I really like the way that it looks with the red siding, but uh, the inside of it, it's supposed to be like kind of gloomy feeling, like, you know, by the seaside, a little bit moody, I guess, like inside. Like, it's not super dark. It's very um, light inside. There's a lot of white and cream and blue um with like little pops of like kind of a burnt orange color so yeah it it's not like too gloomy but i think i don't know i've said this before but i associate like blue colors with being a little bit sad <laughs> so i think maybe that's why My brain's really trying hard today. <laughs> um, I know this is video is coming out um, two weeks, I think, since my last video. Uh, I've just been kind of, you know, in it with the sadness <laughs> recently. Uh, I don't know if it's just like the changing of the weather. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I've been feeling a little bit more down recently so um yeah it was kind of hard to go into the game and feel like building and then having to edit everything afterwards was like <laughs> felt daunting for a little bit so um i'm sorry about that delay uh i it's not something that i want to do regularly um like be delaying videos for like two weeks i mean um but yeah i'm i'm back now and um, yeah, it's good to be here and doing a build. I do like building. I think the hardest part really is just the editing aspect of it. And having to link the CC is my least favorite part of the whole process. 
just because it takes so long. Um, but yeah. Anywho, as you can see, we're changing the outside uh, exterior wallpaper. Um, I just wanted to like have it look a little bit darker, a little bit moodier. I don't know if that's like the right word, but I, I don't know how to describe it. I, I wanted it to feel kind of like, um, I don't know, like blue. <laughs> I don't know if anything I'm saying is making sense right now, but anyways, um, yeah, I, I'm happy with how fast like the exterior and the interior came out when I was building it because usually, um, especially if I'm doing like a family house or something. Uh, it's not like a super big family house. It's only got two bedrooms. I guess you could convert like uh, like the office sort of space downstairs into a bedroom if you really wanted to to make it three. Um, but it is only two, so it's not like a super big family house. But I just find in general when I'm building a house, it usually takes a bit because I have to figure out, you know, if the outside looks good and then the outside looks good, but then you go on the inside and then it's all weird like for the floor plan. So sometimes it just like takes a little bit, um, but with this one it came really easily just because I had already built this before in the past, so I knew like what the layout was and everything, so I was happy about that coming together pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I do a little yard area here. Um, it's not very large. There's not like a whole lot out here. I didn't feel like they needed a whole lot just because they're right by the seaside and I don't know I feel like maybe who lives here is like going to the um the dock area or like the boat area and like fishing and stuff I know we can't really well we can fish obviously but we can't like go boating or something which would be so nice especially with like this world I think that just kind of makes sense to be able to go out there and um boat and stuff like that I think that would have been a good um thing to add but anyways uh i guess there's like new tea within the sims community right now because uh we got a leak for the next pack which apparently is like i think it's called like sims 4 for rent um i don't know if they're gonna keep that name like sometimes obviously like the art or whatever that they gets leaked to like the actual picture um the title isn't always the same um it's just kind of the general like basics of like the expansion usually is the same like the idea of it or um the premise but yeah the title isn't always the uh, like accurate in the leak so maybe it's not gonna be called that but if it is um side eye to that because that's like <laughs> that's a weird uh, name for a pack just for rent um also I think the entire premise of that is kind of whack <laughs> it's kind of weird for a pack um I think that's just something that should have been already included or like literally a base game update I just think that's super weird to be putting in a pack but it's EA so of course they're gonna do that um I know like the teams are probably getting spread so thin because they have most resources working on Project Renee rather than The Sims 4. So I know that it's probably a small team just trying to dig up whatever they can in order to make this company money while they're trying to make this other game. But like, oh my goodness, <laughs> they're really like grasping at straws right now. <laughs> so um, yeah, I feel like that should have just been a base game update. There's a lot of people that are excited about it because... Um, it involves, like, well, some people aren't excited about it because it involves, like, landlord, like, business, obviously. Like, you owning a lot and then renting it out. Um, but it does come with, like, the ability to make apartments and have multi-family um, lots. Which is exciting for people who like to build and also for people who like to play large families or like have different storylines so I do like that function obviously like I've always wanted to have like multiple families on a lot it would help with gameplay it would help with um like the builds that people like to do I like to do builds that have 
you know if they're like longer than usual in an area and it would just visually look better if there was multiple lots on or sorry like multiple homes or like apartments on one lot um it just looks better aesthetically especially with the game being so small in terms of like lots and worlds um so i've always wanted to have that kind of function so i am excited about that but i'm just disappointed that it's going to be at least for where i am a $50 price tag um, just for that is absolutely insane to me. So that's super disappointing. I feel like that really just should have been a base update where you could build apartments because we already have apartments really and it would just basically be including other people living there. Um, and the whole like for rent thing or being a landlord, like I literally don't care. <laughs> I don't care about doing that. I can't really see myself making like a family do that i don't know um i think a lot of people have really bad taste in their mouths um and like reality with landlords and i see a lot of criticism um about that so i don't know man but i just like that whole like multi-family lot thing um being on one lot and being able to build your own apartments because i've wanted that for so long um but yeah the rest of it, nah, that's a side eye for me. <laughs> it should not have been its own pack, but anyways, even if it was its own pack, like make it a stuff pack or something. Like the price take of $50 for that premise is like, I don't know, that doesn't make any sense to me. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I like to see your comments and um, just like the different ways that everyone plays their game. Uh, and the things that they want to see so yeah let me know if you think um uh, what you think about the leak and if you're gonna get it or not i think most people probably would want to get it just for the fact that you can have um, multiple families on a lot and build the, your own apartments um because i think everyone's gotten kind of tired of um you know living in the same apartments in san Myshuno. and i feel like a lot of people um, when we're talking about apartments in The Sims, tend to not really talk about the Evergreen Harbor apartments that came with Eco Lifestyle. Um, yeah, we just like don't talk about that really. I don't know if it's just because like the world itself isn't really exciting. At least it isn't for me. Maybe people like uh, the aesthetic of the world, but for me, I'm like it's it wasn't exciting, and I don't like the way the apartments are laid out um like where the windows and stuff are because you have to like upgrade it with like the eco stuff and then you know it looks better um and has like the modern windows but I'm not really a modern girly so I don't really like the apartments in Evergreen Harbor that much um and I don't really tend to use them maybe I should do a build there challenge myself um I feel like I'd be really tempted to just change out all of the windows though because I really don't like the window placement in general, really, in the Sims games with like the EA builds. They're just not, they just don't make any sense. <laughs> but yeah, anywho, um, I just spoke over the entire kitchen area, uh, which is typical of me. I usually just kind of ramble <laughs> and then the video's over, but we are in the living room area here. Um, I kind of struggled, even though I've built this before. I struggled with like the placement of things in this room. I'm not really sure why. Um, I don't know if I made this bigger the last time that I built it. And so I felt like I didn't have as much space. Maybe I, I think maybe the fireplace was in a different spot. I think that's what it was, but yeah, things are like a little bit asymmetrical. I wanted the couch to be um, like in line with the window at the front. And that kind of messed me up a little bit because the fireplace was too close. But I wanted a really long console um, going across the wall. So, uh, yeah, I had to kind of shift things around a bit. But uh, it pretty much sort of looks like what it looked like that time I built it. I don't have any pictures from then. Um, I think it was like a year ago or something that I built it. Uh, and I don't have any pictures of it, so, uh, I can't show you guys, but, yeah, I, th I think it looked pretty much the same, um, 
as you can see like the color palette in here uh like i said before is like the blue i just want it to feel really calming like by the sea like it's really quiet and you just hear like the sounds of the waves and um yeah just kind of melancholy vibes i don't know if i captured that though i think to me it feels that way but i don't think to most people it'll feel that way i think it'll just look like a um like almost scandinavian style build i don't think it's going to come across the way that <laughs> my brain thinks about it but that's okay it doesn't matter um i put these like long uh these like the doors i think they came with the uh what's it called again like the industrial yeah the industrial loft kit i think um i really like those doors it's like an archway but it has like the doors that are like open i really like those um i like using them in apartments and stuff like that too but uh yeah i used them in uh this build the last time that i built it so i think they're actually in the the like brown swatch though um but i decided to use the white swatch just because i don't know i felt like it fit so yeah just kind of like cluttering things up here and uh putting some pictures on the wall i don't know how much i like the little gallery wall that I put up there uh, on this like blank space beside the window, but it's there. So we're gonna have to deal with it, but I don't know how much I like it. <laughs> um, yeah, the living room, I guess, didn't turn out the way that I thought it would. And it has basically the same layout, but it just didn't look the same. But yeah, it's good. It has nice lighting in here. It looks cozy, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> so I did mention earlier that the house has two bedrooms. Um, when I was building it, I think I was kind of thinking about the family that I had built or made, I guess, um, for the build when I built it the first time last year. Um, and for that home, I made a family um, of a couple and their daughter. So that's kind of like how I furnished it, just because that's what my brain was thinking. Uh, you can do obviously whatever you want, just like every time. Um, you know, take things out. If you wanted a teenager to live here, then you can just take out all of the like toys and stuff and you know make it your own do what you would like to do um but that's just well um what my brain was thinking so yeah um it's weird because like i feel like when i do the voiceovers i usually am rambling about something really long time and skipping over like the entire speed build process um but it's kind of hard when you're just kind of like cluttering a space for a bit because then it's like and now i'm putting down a pillow and now i'm putting down a magazine and it's like it's weird to voice over something that's like obvious to the viewer so sometimes i go quiet because i'm like yeah basically you're just watching the build um I guess I could do like voiceovers that um, like don't go for too long, like just for like a little bit, for as much as I have to talk about, I guess. And then I could like leave you guys with some music um, for the rest of the video. I don't know what you guys would like if you want that or if you want me um, here kind of chilling out with you um, for the whole video. I'm not going to be, my feelings are going to be hurt if you comment and say that you don't mind if I'm not talking through the whole thing because um, I get it like talking to someone, or sorry, hearing someone talk for that long, um, especially if you're not really interested in what they're talking about, um, I think would be kind of like boring. So uh, yeah, if you guys want to see like or hear less of me talking, <laughs> um or just like talking for the like you know for what i have to say in a video and then leaving you with music um would that be better would you guys prefer that would you guys prefer just music and no talking would you prefer a mix of it um let me know because then i can switch things up 
Um, Because sometimes it is hard to think of what you want to speak about. (laughs) But yeah, anyways, we're in this room here. Um, It's just like a nice little area where I think um, the little girl comes and plays in here uh, with her toys and does art and things. And then her parents are like sitting in here and chilling with her like during the evening or the morning. And they play guitar and they just like have a nice little family time in this room. And I think it's really cute. Um, I really like making sunrooms and stuff. I think they're cozy. Um, yeah. So that's what this room is. Just a nice chill area, uh, with no TV, just so you can like, you know, have, spend some time together, I guess. If you wanted to, you could put like a group object in there, like the, um, like the card game or like Scrabble. I don't think it's supposed to be Scrabble. I think it's supposed to be dominoes, um, that we got from the, uh, what's it called? Growing together pack. So you could like put that in there if you want. You could put in the like card table in there if you want. But yeah, I just wanted to make it sort of a chill room. But obviously for gameplay purposes, uh, putting in some more functional objects in there would probably be useful. So yeah, feel free to put that in there if you want. Uh, now we're in the sort of like study room. Um, I think one of the parents is a artist, so I put in some stuff, um, related to the art career. Uh, they have a computer in here and an easel and all the art stuff, um, that they would need for, uh, doing their job. So yeah, that's what this room is in here. And I have this like little closet area that's behind where the stairwell is. And it's only like two tiles of space uh you can see it there it's like where the door is open and so i just put in the like decoration box in there because i thought it was a good place to put it because i feel like usually i just shove that box like in a random corner in a hallway usually or if there's a garage that i have in the house then i'll put it in the garage uh but i had this little space here and i was like wait i'll just put that there because it's like a functional item and they can go in the little closet here and go and dig in for decorations. So yeah, I thought that was a cute little touch. And then I just put this bookcase in here and I struggled a little bit with like where to put the easel and this plant. Uh, they were kind of fighting for space in here until I found a spot that I liked. But um, yeah, and then I think I add a little uh, like creative table. I don't know what they're called. I think they're like the creativity table or the art table um, that the kids have, uh, yeah, I just put that in there, too, so, like, maybe the little girl comes down here and, um, does some art with her other parent who is doing art, and I thought that was a little cute thing, um, that they can do in here together, so I thought that was cute, but, yeah, I put a little crafting, or not crafting, but, like, creativity table right there, and a little drawing on the wall, maybe she drew on the wall, and then the parent turned around, they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> and they're like, what? I was just drawing. And they're like, okay, that's fine. They're like, okay with some drawing on the wall, as long as it's not everywhere in the house. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought that was a cute little touch. And then I think down here, the only other room left is the bathroom, the downstairs bathroom here. Um, both of the bathrooms in this house are actually bigger than I usually build bathrooms, which is kind of interesting because this house is pretty small. Um, but that's just kind of the way that it turned out. So, yeah, I like them. Um, I feel like I always build bathrooms that are like a really specific size. They're always like, I guess it's like a three by two or two by three, um, which is, like, just enough room for them to walk in and, like, do their stuff. I guess, like, I don't care enough about bathrooms, but sometimes I do, like, on my own time, sometimes I'll just, like, build rooms for fun. It's not even, like, a whole house. Um, I'll just, like, think of an aesthetic or, like, see a picture on Pinterest or something and just build the room itself. Um, because that could be really fun. I like recreating just, like, a room that I see on Pinterest. Maybe I should do that for a video. Um, I've thought about doing that before, um, cause the other day, and when I say the other day, I mean like maybe a month or two ago, um, I saw some rooms on Pinterest and I built them and I was like, Ooh, like I got pretty close, like 
to accuracy with it. I think it's, you know, you can kind of get pretty close if you use custom content and try to do like a recreation. So yeah, those are super fun. So maybe I'll do that. Um, I don't know if you guys would like want that because it's literally just a room. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Or um, I've also thought about maybe um, incorporating some like building challenges. Uh, I don't know if you guys would want to see that, but uh, yeah, I was thinking about maybe doing one of those because um, I've seen like there's like a whole bunch of different ones on YouTube. Um, but I think the ones that I'd be the most interested in is like the ones where you have to like re create something. So like what I just said with like the Pinterest thing of recreating something. Or like maybe a time challenge one, um, maybe like a pack specific one, uh, or like limited CC, so like I can only use one creator. So yeah, I don't know. Something to think about for the future, but um, yeah, hopefully I can do that if you guys would like to see it. If you guys do have some videos that you'd like to see, um, like, I don't know, a build challenge or something, or... Maybe, like, where you'd like to see a build, if I have the pack, <laughs> um, uh, then let me know. I think I might do, like, a community poll, actually, and have, like, a couple options for you guys to choose from, because I want to, I guess, have, like, a bit more, you know, more diversity in my builds, like, in terms of location and, like, the kind of build I'm doing, um... So yeah, I guess that's why I kind of like did this one in Windenburg because I wanted to do something a little bit different. I know it's like not the style of Windenburg because Windenburg is like the kind of like Tudor style um, kind of build, which I also like to do. Uh, I just don't find myself doing it very often, but I do also like to do that. So I can do that. I can do a Tudor style build. I could do um, something in Sulani. Um... I got the snowy skate pack like a couple months ago uh, and I really like the build buy from it but I haven't built there because it feels so unfamiliar um, in terms of like building style that I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> um, and I'm, I've looked at like things online and like seen the kind of builds that are there um, like in Japan because I'm pretty sure that's where it's inspired from. Um, but, like, I get really overwhelmed. I'm like, oh my goodness, like, is that hard to build? Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I can try doing different stuff uh, and different kinds of builds and things. Um, yeah, I think that would be fun. So, let me know if you guys want to see something in a specific style or, like, in a specific world. Um, and I can try and do it. But, yeah. I've been kind of like puttering around a little bit in um the save file that i'm doing it's not like a save file that i was gonna make public but ever since i mentioned it uh i have some people that sometimes ask about it and i'm like oh crap <laughs> i didn't mean that i was gonna make it public it was just kind of something i was doing as like a little project for myself um because i'm like a perfectionist and somebody who has a hard time with like not hating something after they do it so uh yeah i don't know if i'm gonna make like a save file public it was just kind of something i was working on just to see if i could do it really um but yeah anyways um after i was you know doing a couple builds in there i was getting really bored with like doing the same sort of like suburban sort of thing and like willow creek and newcrest because that's like the worlds that I find myself clicking on the most to build in. Um, and I was getting kind of tired of it. So I decided to switch to Oasis Springs. Uh, which is, was like, I guess kind of trying to challenge myself and get myself out of the box. Because I usually don't build there. And I usually don't love desert sort of worlds um, in The Sims. So I was kind of trying to challenge myself to do it. And I went with like the whole like mid-century sort of uh, vibe and I actually really like the way some of the builds turned out. Um, 
So I'm kind of excited about that. It's, they, a lot of them are very like colorful and, you know, mid-century. And I like sort of like the 70s, 60s influence that uh, like the whole aesthetic has. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of excited about the way those look. And I don't know, maybe I could do more tour videos or something and show you guys and upload some of the lots that I've built. I actually haven't done a part two to the apartment tours, so I could also do that and um, upload some of those as well. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of options, I guess, um, for you guys. But yeah, look out for my community tab because I think if I have the ability to, because sometimes like you have to unlock certain things before you can like make certain posts um, on the on your channel. So if I have the ability to make a poll in my community tab, then I will do so. And you guys can vote there for um, what you want to see next on the channel or comment here, you know, um, both are good. So yeah. Anyways, we're in the kids room now. Um, it's a nice little room. It's pretty colorful, but I don't think it's like in your face colorful. I think it's just like, oh, it's like a kid's room and it's, there's color in here, but it's not like too intense. So I find like a lot of the EA objects and stuff for kids are like very colorful and it's like my retinas you know like it's it's like i don't know like the saturation's a little bit too high um but i feel like this is like a good amount of color so it feels really playful and fun and youthful and it but it doesn't like burn your retinas so that's kind of the goal usually i feel um when i'm building kids rooms so yeah that's this room I really like that desk in here. I think it's from uh, Clutter Cat. Um, and I also like the little dollhouse. I love that dollhouse, it's so cute. And I think that's from My Cup of CC. And um, like always, the CC list with all the links to everything um, is included in the download file in the description. So when you click on it, You'll have to unzip the file after you download it and then you'll see that it says CC list and then that tells you um, like all those sites that I've been to for the CC because I've gotten a couple questions before about it so that's where it's always located um, for every build that I do and also I'm trying to get in the habit of uploading my builds to the gallery as well so it will also be on the gallery my gallery id will be also in the description so you can find it on the gallery um and also you can get the tray files in the download if you'd like um but if you do have it on the gallery obviously the cc doesn't come with it so you'll have to still download the file just so you can get like the cc list that's in there and be able to find everything um but yeah this is the last bathroom up here um I was, it, um, you probably saw like when I was building the outside, this was supposed to be like off to a balcony, but I decided to delete it because I didn't like the way it looked. And I do leave <laughs> these sliding doors here and it just goes off the roof to nothing. But you'll see in the last screenshots that I replace it with windows. And so your Sims cannot just open the door and fall out of the roof. So don't worry about that. I do end up changing that because I realized later when I was taking screenshots and I was like, oh, this is literally a door. Um, so yeah. I put windows there, so safety is number one, <laughs> even in the Sims world. Um, but yeah, uh, and now we're just like doing the outside area. There's not much out here, like I said before. It's just kind of like naturey. Um, there's not much like on the like off of the deck on the lawn area. I think I just put like a soccer ball and like some laundry items and a bike, and I kept it really simple. But uh, yeah, that's it for this build. And I will see you guys in the next video that I upload. Thank you for watching, for being here, for subscribing, for commenting. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.